Hello, Jess you good here. Today I'm taking a look at the Lego Batman movie Scarecrow Fearful Face Off set, which retails for $15, has 141 pieces and two minifigures. Now let's take a look at those minifigures. So our first minifigure is the Scarecrow, who looks awesome. This design is actually different from the one in the pizza delivery set because of a new exclusive torso, which has some side arm printing on both sides, which is so impressive for a small set like this and also the new exclusive design for this hat, which has some new coloring different from uh, the 2016 version. And that looks incredible. I love the coloring for the little hay stock right there and the brown hat. Of course, his facial design underneath is also cool and he has an alternate expression as well as his side leg printing, uh, which you can see has a little bit of detailing there. Just a really impressive figure for a, a $10 set, so I really do appreciate that. Or, sorry, $15 set. And here is the Batman of the set. Very crazy, because this actually has a printed belt, which is not present in the movie or any of the other movie sets. And that's because the new belt piece wouldn't fit with this wing piece right here. Of course, this wing piece is very cool because it comes only in the Arkham set from 2013, so it's nice to have it in a cheaper set like this. He has his little grappling hook uh, gun and also kind of a jetpack build on the back, which is a pretty neat design. Remove all that and underneath you can see a look at his torso on the back and also his alternate facial expressions, uh, which work out pretty well, but it's a pretty common design for the face overall. So here is the build of the set all together. Now let's take a look at the gyrocopter. So here's Scarecrow's gyrocopter. There's some nice designs to it. I like how it kind of has a wooden feel with some of these dark brown and reddish brown uh, pieces throughout. Some nice sticker pieces as well, like this little engine sticker back here or this big back flap uh, with the Scarecrow logo. And that's, both of those are on both sides, which is pretty nice. Um, they also have these little brooms right here and this, set has three of these fear gas bombs right here which are pretty interesting because if you see you could kind of launch them down by using this stud shooter in reverse where you push it and it drops down like that and inside these they actually have just a plain orange minifigure head which is quite interesting i do like that piece usage there it's always nice getting plain minifigure heads other than that there's really just a, a little uh, rotor up here which is fun to spin around there's one on the back as well and you have a little bit of what maybe seems to be like a blaster on the bottom just for design. And the cockpit for Scarecrow is kind of tight. It's a little bit hard to get him to hold on to this without stuff breaking off, but he fits on there pretty well. And there's just enough room to have him sit down. Then they have this little part of the Gotham Energy Facility where you have a little uh, fear gas bomb right there. Um, and the whole point of that is you would push down on this little mechanism right here and the whole top part flies off. There's just enough room to fit one of those uh, fear gas bombs. And I do like the little one by two stickered piece near this little gauge right here. It's quite interesting, this design, and there's not much else going on here. It's nice to get another one of these two pieces. That's really it for the builds of the set. Let's go on to the packaging and then the final verdict. So here's the $15 box of the set. Very colorful background right there and the back, uh, which has some little play feature designs. And for the instructions, there's something very interesting in it. Uh, not this little summer design for the sets, or even uh, this one right here for the Ultimate Batmobile, or all these little advertisements for the movie, and yeah, some of the other sets. But if you go to the end, look who's on the back, Le Lloyd, which is pretty neat. I like how they have the Ninjago movie Lloyd on there. So overall, Scarecrow's Fearful Face-Off is a good, cheap Lego Batman movie set. Now, Scarecrow came in another cheap set uh, with the pizza delivery, and that design I think I like a little bit better just because of how unique it was. We don't really get these evil pizza delivery vehicles and the evil pizza delivery outfits and everything. This one is still cool, though, and it is still a unique vehicle because Scarecrow in general doesn't get too many vehicles. Um, I do like the little side build as well with the Gotham Energy attachment. It's just that the overall set doesn't have anything amazing in it. There's a lot of nice pieces, there's nice minifigures, but there's nothing that will say, wow, this puts this on top of other $15 sets. So if all that considered, I'd rate this set a B. Good minifigures, good builds, just nothing amazing about it. That's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.